uh, flow of blood to the cerebrum, as well as to the diencephalon. Okay? So our set points and our, our thought processes and everything are all based on this continuous anastomosis. So remember we have our internal carotid coming in right here, this is the carotid canal. We also have, remember, the vertebral artery coming up through the uh, cervical uh, transverse foramen, cervical uh, vertebra. And they're going to come together. They're actually going to anastomose, form the basilar artery, pass through the foramen magnum. I'm not going to worry you with the branches here that go to the cerebellum and the tongue. They're there. But the major uh, branches then form at the very end of the basilar, so the basilar divides in the posterior left, uh, left, 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 left. Uh, but anyways, left and right, posterior cerebellum, or cerebral, not cerebellum, I can read, cerebral artery, cerebral, cerebral. There's a connecting artery right here that connects the, um, common carotid, that's kind of the internal carotid with the posterior cerebral. The internal actually divides then into the middle cerebral and the anterior cerebral artery. That's right when you came in the room. Remember that? And I was talking about the, the longitudinal fissure, and that's where the anterior is going to go up through the uh, longitudinal fissure right next to the false cerebri. And then we have this interesting little anterior communicating in between. So it's a complete circle. And that means that if anything goes wrong anywhere in the circle, that there's going to be collateral circulation. It's going to be okie dokie. And not only that, it's going to come from one, two, three sources into the circle. So it's definitely okie dokie. You could actually have a problem right here and a problem right here, and you're still good to go. Okay. So that's the scenario, just the way you like it. Um, I might ask you to do this major mean arterial blood pressure calculation, but I'm pretty sure you can handle that. I might ask you to, to consider the uh, regulatory event that uh, regulates uh, cardiac output in terms of the uh, uh, stroke volume and heart rate. And so we can turn right back to that now and just review it for a moment. <coughs> 